And the GLAD Media Award goes to... I want to work for Diddy and Trans American Love Story. This has been a truly amazing year for transgender representation in the media. Oh my God. And, and I'm so honored to be here with Calpurnia. And I've been, a, I've been a fan of yours for so long. And I'm, I'm really shocked. I thought Kathy Griffith or Top Model would win. Uh, I really did, okay. First of all, I need to thank um, Mr. Combs and VH1 for giving me the amazing opportunity to be, I can't believe you won. I am like standing here and we won. That's really, okay. Okay, I wanna thank Mr. Combs and VH1 for giving me the um, life-changing opportunity to, to, appear, uh, to appear as a contestant on I Want to Work for Diddy, and I am so honored to accept this award on their behalf. And I am particularly honored as the first transgender woman of color to appear on a reality television show. but I am so happy to say that I am not the last and I'm sure there will be many, many more with um, my work, with the work of Calpurnia and so many people out there. Um, big ups to Isis uh, from Top Model um, and um, Caitlin from The Real World. When you um, decide to be a contestant on a reality show, you sign your life away. And before I did that, I was clear and adamant with the producers and with um, VH1 that I did not want my representation on I'm Gonna Work for Diddy to conform to the stereotypical and disparaging representations we've so often seen of transgender people and particularly transgender people of color. And I wanna thank everyone um, who had anything to do with the show, the production company Left Right, um, Banks Tarver, um, Sean Rankin at Left Right Productions, um, Shelly Tatro, Danielle um, Gelfand, and Carrie McFarlane at VH1, because they assured me that the show was not about um, any kind of stereotypical representations of transgender people and that Mr. Combs was not interested in that. And I'm so proud of how it was represented on the show. So extremely proud. And I also want to say that it is so important um, that transgender stories are told. There are so many stories out there that need to be told and need to be told in humanizing and three-dimensional ways. I'm, I'm, I've been an actor for years and I'm also producing now. And I wanna say to all the writers, directors, and producers out there, write transgender stories. And if you don't know what to do with them, call GLAD or, or, or write me on my website because there's so many stories that need to be told and they need to be told in humanizing ways. And uh, thank you so much, Mr. Combs. You, to, uh, to be a transgender woman working in the hip hop business is, I mean, I didn't get the job, but I mean, it was such an amazing thing for him to even allow me to be on the show. So thank you so much, Mr. Combs, for giving me this life-changing opportunity. And thank you, Glad, so much. Well, I'll keep this quick because my hairdo's fallen, but um, I, I just wanted to say it's been a really long road, you know, to this, as she said so eloquently. It's, 
it's, you know, hard transitioning. All of us have had our difficulties, but um, in a few months, it'll be 10 years ago that I was a lonely, small-time showgirl in Nashville, and I got caught up in a media firestorm. And one of the first phone calls I made from my little trashy apartment in Nashville, Tennessee, was to GLAAD 10 years ago. And um, You know, I, I didn't know much about anything, but I knew that GLAD was there for people who needed a helping hand through a situation like that. And so I appreciate that so much. Um, you know, do it, doing this show was, was tons of fun, and um, I don't know what much else to say about that, but I, I do have to say thank you to Logo, you know, Dave Mason, Brian Graydon, help make this happen, and they're so hot, too. I didn't know executives could be hot like that. And, and the world of wonder people, Randy and Fenton, those guys are freaks. You should get to know them. <laughs> and um, I think especially all the guys who were brave enough to be on my show, because still in this day and age, dating a transsexual woman is um, something that a lot of people are ashamed to admit, and some people are actually some people lose their life over it, and um, I really appreciate the men being brave enough, uh, including Jim here, Jim Halley, ladies and gentlemen, hotness. So, so thank you all so much. Thank you. I, I really will treasure and appreciate this. Um, hello, my name is Jim Howley. Um, I was also in a documentary called Sex Change Hospital. I'm female to male, and um, it was really an honor to be in Calpurnia's show, and uh, I don't know, I'm just so proud and, of her and, and our projects. And I'm the first F2M in reality television history, so we are making progress as transgender people, and thanks for having us here at your award show.